After his wife Teresa's mastectomy, Nathan Gardner relocates his entire family, which includes Lavinia, Benny, and Jack, to his late father's agricultural land. One fateful night, an intensely radiant meteor descends and crashes on their front lawn, leaving Jack briefly shaken. The following morning, a hydrologist named Ward Phillips, who is examining the locality for a dam project, as well as the mayor and the sheriff from the nearby Arkham town, come to inspect the meteor. Later that night, Nathan and Lavinia behold the meteor as it is struck by numerous bolts of lightning. Ward observes that the groundwater has a slick and oily appearance, prompting him to conduct tests on it. His test strips become brilliantly illuminated with color, and he cautions the gardeners against drinking it. As he informs a nearby resident, Ezra, of the contamination, he is presented with a recording of mysterious noises emanating from beneath Ezra's house at night. In the meantime, Jack becomes preoccupied with the property's well, noting strange growth patterns among the flora and fauna, and professing to communicate with a companion residing within it. A team of journalists arrives to question Nathan about the meteor, but discovers that it has inexplicably vanished. At a later time, when Teresa is busy cooking dinner, she inadvertently cuts off two of her fingers. Nathan quickly rushes her to the hospital, leaving Benny in charge. Following Nathan's instructions, Benny goes outside to return the farm's alpacas to their stables, but only returns late at night, claiming that time had passed in an instant. Meanwhile, Lavinia tries to reach Nathan on several occasions, but they are unable to communicate effectively over the phone. When Nathan and Teresa return, Nathan unusually unleashes his anger on Benny and Lavinia. As the days pass, the gardeners become more and more isolated and disturbed by the strange occurrences around them. Lavinia tries to find a way to reverse the effects of the color, and even tries to seek help from the local mayor and sheriff, but they refuse to believe her claims. Meanwhile, Benny becomes increasingly drawn to the well, and the friend he claims is living inside it. One night, Nathan discovers that the color has spread to the water supply and contaminated all their food, leaving them with no choice but to drink and eat it. The family members start to experience vivid hallucinations and nightmares, making it hard for them to discern reality from their imagination. As time passes, the house becomes more and more unrecognizable, with strange growths and twisted architecture. The family members start to succumb to madness, with Benny disappearing into the well and Lavinia performing a final ritual to try and reverse the effects of the color. Nathan is left alone in the attic with the fused mass of Teresa and Jack, slowly losing his mind. In the end, Ward returns to the farm and discovers the horrific state of the gardeners. He is forced to put them out of their misery before leaving the farm, the sight of the meteor, behind. After the creature is killed, Nathan is taken into custody, and Lavinia is taken to the hospital. Ward and the sheriff discuss the events, realizing that the meteor brought with it an extraterrestrial virus that mutates all life it comes into contact with. They decide to burn down the gardener house to contain the virus but Lavinia begs them to spare it as it is the last remaining trace of her family. In the end, the house is burned down, and Lavinia is left alone and traumatized. The story ends with Lavinia driving away from the ruins of her home, seemingly being pursued by a bright light, and finally arriving at the site where the meteor first landed. She performs a Wiccan ritual to release the meteor's energy into the sky and a giant vortex appears, seemingly taking her with it. The movie ends with the implication that Lavinia has sacrificed herself to release the color's energy and stop it from spreading any further. Lavinia and Ward make it back to the farmhouse, where they find Nathan's body assimilated by the color. Lavinia, knowing that her family's fate is sealed, decides to perform a final ritual to summon a mysterious entity known as the gardener that her mother had told her about. The ritual causes a portal to open, and Lavinia walks through it, leaving Ward behind. 
In the final scene, the color has consumed everything in the area, leaving only the farmhouse and the well standing. The guard in the aftermath, Ward is seen at a diner, still reeling from the trauma. He hears a news report about the dam project being cancelled due to unforeseen circumstances and recognizes the government's attempt to cover up what happened. He then sees a vision of Lavinia, who whispers cryptically to him before disappearing. Ward then departs the diner, leaving behind the nightmarish events that occurred at the gardener farm. Subscribe if you have enjoyed the video and don't forget to like and share. Thanks for watching!